Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, I just thought I'd sit down uh, and do a quick video here. I've been saying that the second part of my rat poison uh, configuration was going to be coming out. Um, I just figured we could sit down here. I've got a few minutes to kill and I could go over a few more of the uh, uh, add-ons to the configuration file to kind of make it a little more uh, user-friendly and usable. So. Um, what we want to do is, I'm going to go ahead and open my terminal here, and we are going to vim into our rat poison RC. So right now, basically from the last video, what we have set up is we have um, nitrogen starting at startup, and we have we um, created some workspaces, um, one through nine uh, at startup, um, and we changed the location of the. Um, little comment and uh, command bar that pops up um, when you do anything so if you um, need to run a command you know or if you're um, running this instance or if you actually change your workspaces um, it shows up in the middle of the screen for you um, so that's what we have here so far and right here um, we added a few key bindings and actually we changed our escape sequence key from control T to actually just the alt key um, we added a couple quick key binds here to launch our browser, or our browser, our terminal, um, my D menu setup. Um, that's to quit a window or to quit um, um, a split, um, and then to delete a window. Um, so let me see. Yeah. So that just uh, deletes the window, the control Q, and then uh, the lowercase Q will split. So. Let's reopen our terminal. We'll vim back into our rat poison RC, and then down on the bottom there we have our workspaces. Um, I just wanted to add a few more things in there, um, like I said, to make it a little more user friendly. Um, maybe make it a little bit easier for people to get uh, get comfortable in it. Um, so first off, um, a lot of people I know um, like to use Focus Follows Mouse. Um, I sometimes do, sometimes don't. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about it. But say you have um, two windows open. So we do a split here, which in Rat Poison, Control S does a split. Control Capital S will do a vertical split or a horizontal split, depending on how you want to look at it. Um, and then Alt Tab will switch you between the frames. So that's the current frame. And then if you Alt Tab, it shows you switch current frames. Um, right now, we have no uh, focus follows mouse. Um, so basically, what we got to do to fix that is if we are, let's make sure we're in the correct frame. So we're in the bottom frame here. Uh, we're going to launch another terminal. And we're going to CD into the slash user slash rat poison. Or no, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. Um, we're going to CD into the uh, <clears throat> user share rat poison, sorry. Share rat poison and then sloppy. We're going to hit enter. Oops. User share, just rat poison, sorry. That's all. And then we're actually going to, as we're in this, we are going to run a program or a file in there called sloppy this is going to run a script so we're going to take that and we're going to hit enter we're going to run it it's not going to give us any output um, it's just going to sit here but if we control C and we end that and then we come up into our uh, rat poison RC here and in our auto start stuff if we hit exec so we're going to execute this at auto start um, then we want to put in slash user slash share rat poison um, and then sloppy um, and that basically what that's gonna do is um, it's gonna give us the functionality of uh, focus following mouse between the windows so if we escape we write that and then we do our restart and we hit enter so that should bring us back oops back up here so in workspace one now, okay. Um, now basically, if we do a split, we should be able to have focus follows mouse. The only problem with this 
with this and what I don't like about this in this uh, instance on Rat Poison, I haven't figured out a way to where if you're up here with the mouse and you want to switch to the lower screen, if you try the normal control tab or the escape tab, it won't. It'll stick where the mouse is. So that's a little irritating to me. Um, being a more of a keyboard driven user um, as opposed to a mouse driven user, um, this is kind of awkward for me because if I, I don't grab my mouse very often and slide around between stuff, I usually use keybinds to grab and switch between windows. Um, so if my mouse is sitting there, it, uh, it um, will stay on that window. But there is a way to kind of help alleviate that. Um, and it doesn't really fix the problem, but it does help with it a little bit. And that is, once we do that, if we actually do a another auto start, and we do a, uh, actually it's called rat poison dash C, and we run um, banish. And then we're going to write that. What that's going to do is, if we restart, and we hit enter, what that does, see that dropped the mouse all the way down to the corner there. So anytime you fire up your machine it's going to drop that mouse down to the corner down there it's going to be out of sight out of mind so if you do a split you'll be able to tab back and forth the only problem is if you actually bring the mouse up and you're going back and through um, you're going to be in the same boat so what you can do is I believe if you hit this and do banish it should send it right back down you could set that up to a key bind um, and uh, get that mouse back down in the corner like that. But that kind of um, sets up, like I said, a lot of people like to use the focus follows mouse. And so doing that, uh, going into the user share rat poison um, directory in your terminal and then typing dot slash sloppy and then control C to stop the, um, stop it from running. And then come into your uh, rat poison RC and actually add that line, this user share rat poison sloppy. Uh, line into your auto start stuff that will give you the focus follows mouse and then if you add the exec rat poison dash c and then banish um, in the double quotes as you start your system up that will um, banish your cursor down to the lower right corner um, it'll keep it out of your way until you use it and then you can use the um, the command prompt again to uh, banish it back down once you once you get it or if you you know you can just roll it back down there with your mouse obviously that's the the easy way but um, so yeah, that just kind of sets that up. Um, I don't really care for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comment these out in my uh, in my configuration here, um, or in this configuration. I do have my own configuration that I've already got set up. I'm just kind of going through this for your benefit, um, and also I guess a little bit for mine because the more you go over something, the more you remember it. Um, so that's a couple things there with the folks falls mouse um, what we're going to do though is we're also going to set up a couple more key bindings um, that will allow for uh, um, movement around the windows um, you know tab isn't that bad um, let's get that out of the way tab isn't that bad to go back and forth between the frames but if we do a, we got that and we do tab 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 you're scrolling through you know, between the stuff um, going all the way around, we're going to actually make it a little bit easier. And what we're going to do is um, let's go back into here and in our key bindings here, we are going to add bind and then we're going to do uh, less than all caps up greater than and then we're going to type in focus up. We're going to do the same thing for bind down and it'll just be focus down and then it'll be bind oops, left focus left and then again if we just do bind right we'll get focus right. So if we do those in there um, and we write that and then we do our restart again and then we bring these back up 
and we've got these three splits here now. Now we should be able to, if we do our escape key and we hit right, that brings us to the right. If we hit our escape key and we hit down, that brings us down. Escape key and we hit left. Well, we don't have anything left of us right now. But then if we do escape key and go up, then we hit and we go up. So escape down brings us down. Escape up brings us up. Escape right brings us right. Um, and then if we're on this window and we do a just like that, then we can see that the right uh, up, right, down, up, up, down, over. So that makes it a little easier. Um, that's a little more intuitive for me since I do tend to use my mod key with my arrow keys um, to actually move around between my windows, resize my windows, do all that kind of stuff. Um, that just makes it a little more intuitive for me. Um, another thing I have on mine, since mine is a uh, laptop. Um, I, I am working on getting a DZen bar. Um, if you pipe cocky into DZen and build your bar, it does show up perfectly on this. Um, I'll work on a uh, video for that as well, setting that up. Um, but just know that I'm working on getting the windows to not overlay the uh, bar and actually still have the bar show at the top. But um, for now, I actually have set up a little script here for if I do bind and then I have it set to capital B. Uh, you can set it to whatever you want. This is just what I have it set to you. I have execute notify, oops, not notify, notify, notify send, um, and then I have dash T for time. This is how long it's gonna actually remain on the screen. I have 1500 milliseconds, and then I actually have a script um, to show me battery life left on my, so if we just run that script, and we hit enter and we write and then we restart and we hit enter now I have that set to con or capital B so if I hit alt and I hit B then right over here I get my nice little deal that shows me I have 89 percent battery life left so that's uh, that's another cool little trick while you're working on getting a bar or if you don't want an entire bar and you like a cleaner look um, then you can absolutely not have to worry about um, having a whole bar across the top and you could just run little scripts like that to kind of show you what you need oh how's my Wi-Fi or how's my battery or whatever because I'm sure I could pipe in I have a let's see bind w exec notify dash send dash t 1500 and I have a script called I think it's called Wi-Fi I would assume I'm just gonna escape that and write oops and right and then we're going to restart and let's see if I hit W no nope I don't have that one. I forget what my Wi-Fi script is called um, anyway that is I could have swore it was called Wi-Fi but maybe not anyway um, I digress, but you could just do that. If you have a script built up to check your Wi-Fi or to check your battery or to you know check your volume or whatever, you could you could run those. Um, there is also one more thing I'm going to put on this video, and we are going to add a bind R. And what we're going to do with this is um, a lot of managers you can grab the corner of a window and uh, resize it that way. If we add the R command, actually we'll do capital R, and we do re size. we're going to escape, we're going to write, and, um, <clears throat> and we'll do R, restart again, and if we bring up the window, and let's do our split. Now, we're on our top window right now, so if we hit tab, we see we, oh, I got the mouse up still, so, see, I don't like the whole mouse thing. Um, I thought I commented that out and turned that off. Didn't I? Let's see here. I did. Why is it not working? Oh, because I, yeah, because I turned it off, but I turned off sloppy. So, hmm. Something's up there. Maybe you don't have to include that in your, I was pretty sure by the, uh, description that you had to include that after you ran the sloppy maybe not maybe you don't even actually have to have that maybe if you just go to the uh, dot you or dash user slash share rat poison sloppy or rat poison and then run dot slash sloppy 
it actually just runs it and you don't have to call it every time you start that's you know learn something new all right so I guess I'm stuck with that for now until I figure out otherwise but let's say we are on the uh, let's put us on the top screen so we're on the top split on the window and we want to resize that we just hit bind and we oh we hit R and there we go let's split that way so we can resize up and down we obviously can't resize left and right um, if we actually do a so now if we actually do a split this way and we do R all you do is you hit your escape key and then capital R and then you use your arrow keys and it will resize you can resize the window um, how you like it and then you escape and it um, puts it back to normal um, don't ask me why it puts it back to normal. I haven't actually looked into that. So, if we hit, oh, there we go. If we hit enter, then it keeps it uh, that size. So, we do escape, capital R. We can resize the, the window. And then you hit enter, and it remains the size you keep it. And then if you do alt Q, that's gonna kill one of the windows. It's going to kill the split, I mean, and then um, Alt-K will kill the window. So, so if we scroll back through, and we get to here, and we want to kill this, um, then we just do Alt-K. And then we can scroll back around, and we have our Rat Poison RC. So, again, what we touched on is um, to get Focus Follows Mouse, all you have to do is, apparently, I thought you had to execute it in your auto start, but apparently I was wrong. Um, all you have to do is go into the user share rat poison slop or er, rat poison and then run dot slash sloppy and it will um, set up focus follows mouse for you um, so I do recommend for me personally like I do like I said I have in my personal rat poison configuration I have um, execute rat poison C banish so that'll just start my mouse all the way down in my right hand lower corner I don't have to worry about it um, so uh, that'll take care of that we also added in our up and down control keys for switching between uh, windows, focused windows. Um, we added uh, a little uh, keybind here to bring up a battery script to show battery life left before we get a panel put in. And then we have the resize key. Um, basically, that's kind of it for today. Um, I just kind of wanted to touch on that. So if we switch to a different workspace, you know, you can see, let's kind of uh, go over again. Uh, Alt, capital B gives us our battery. Um, if we do, uh, let's do Alt T, we'll bring up a couple terminals. So now we've got two terminals, right? So if we want to do Alt Split, that's going to split them. And then we can, Alt Tab is going to, since I got my mouse up there, Alt Tab. See, this is why I don't like Focus Follows Mouse, because on this anyway, on most of it doesn't matter. You can switch between still, but on this for some reason you can't. So Alt Tab is going to switch you between your windows, or between your, uh, uh, yeah, between your windows. Um, or you have Focus Follows Mouse with what we put in there. Um, banish, like I said, if we run, it sends the, the cursor down to the bottom there, and that's how we have it starting out in our exec, uh, execute for our auto start file. And then we have uh, resizing the frame. So just con you know set it to your key binding. Um, do the key, the escape key, and hit your key bind. Like for me, it was capital R. Uh, set it the size you want. Press enter, and you're locked in. So yeah, um, just a quick uh, once over on that again. Um, we'll maybe continue this on. We'll see how many hits I get on this video. The first one wasn't too terribly popular. Um, Rat Poison isn't a real popular uh, window manager. Um, but if I get a few hits on this and people seem to like it or kind of give me a heads up that you would like me to continue on with it, I'll, I'll continue on. But uh, yeah, hope hope you guys found this enjoyable and interesting and have a great have a great day and God bless.